Oh dear, it's gonna be a wet one. So here we are then guys, Aston Hill Bike Park on the downhill bike. Haven't ridden it much this year, that's why I wanted to use it. We're here at a Devo. A Devo is basically Ian Morby's invention of getting the next generation up and rolling with loads of skills coaching. Let's see what it's all about. Look at that, we've still got the dust from last time I used it, look, that's ridiculous. Where are we going to just pass the bomb out? Right then, Aston Hill Pedal Fest. Inside, first run. But oh, I'm very totally off track. Poor dusty bike isn't so dusty anymore. Let's be honest, it is not the best day for riding today, but should be super fun. So we're doing a couple of warm up laps and then uh, I guess we're getting the session underway. The next little challenge with these guys is doing a couple of corners on the cross country course. It's probably a bit of an overkill on the downhill bike, but I'm sure it's going to be loads of fun. trying to get around these turns as quick as we can obviously the conditions are a little loose but super fun it's great to see so many people here on one of Ian's Devo days. Ian's been running these Devos for as long as I can remember the main reason why I wanted to come back up here I actually came here when I was like 15 16 it's really cool to come back you know dare I say it, a good number of years later so they're just messing around on this flat bit of track utilizing the corners feel a bit over biked on this but as I said, I haven't really used it that much this year, so I just wanted to try and use it as much as possible. A nice and chill to go to the next section that we're going to. Cool thing is now, we're all going to do a drift corner. Oh, so this is the drift corner. This is where we learn about brake control and trying to slide the bike and control it. So let's give that a go. <laughs> oh, oh, wow! <laughs> How on earth did you just miss them? Oh, not again! Whoa. Oh! Yo! Oh. And again! <laughs> Fun morning, best part of the day now. Yep, bit of lunch time. Oi oi. We've just had lunch, we're now going to check out another trail. It is going to be a little slick and slack today, being with the fact that the roots are slippy. 
let's go check out root canal i believe it's called right then last time i hit this was in the proper dry so oh, it's gonna be a bit it's gonna be a bit gnarly today didn't want to hit it blind okay the speed you've got a gap over that and then a gap over the route let's see how we get on with go on lad you can just see how he just plopped down so i think you can gap gap so that is a little sloppy since the last time i rode it so we give it another bash That's better. <laughs> I didn't know I've seen someone clearing a puddle. Go on lad, go on. Oh, to where he is, he literally gap over that, which is going to set you up. Loads better for the roots there, so you just got to make sure you stay on the left hand side. As you can see, you can use this to take off and then gap over there. This is the hardest thing today, actually. Yeah. Trying to carry your speed from that drop around that turn carry enough speed over the jump drop thing we're just going to come in with a bit more speed this time do the same line and then i think we're going to move further on down the trail look at the state right bit more of a run up then it's so loose the way it's wet you get a bit more grip you all right mate that would have ended in tears. You can see on a day like today, these are super slippy, hence why a lot of people are ending up down there. So unfortunately with this, it's just commitment, just trusting yourself, even if you're not jumping it, just to one weight over the top. As soon as you put any weight through the bike, unfortunately it will slip, certainly if they're off camber. Oh, so obviously there's the line. Not the one. That could have been uh, quite gnarly. The next little track we're doing is surface to air, I believe. So there's a couple of little jumps, drops, etc. Try and get on this high line here. Oh, just like that. Come on, that surface to air. Oh, it's running mint. So this is the first drop on this little section. As you can see, it's not the biggest, but you can sort of see guys just literally getting down to the ground. Once again, if you've got a bit more speed, a bit more pop, you can actually gap over that, which obviously means that you don't get a double bounce and therefore you're going to be set up slightly faster, slightly better for that corner. Little K. Okay. There you go, so you can just sort of see there, some people are plopping down, some people are actually popping to get the distance, a couple of people are just clipping the back side of it, so it just means that you just need to pop slightly more, and then you're on. We've got a train going on to get right at the back. 
Keep going, mate. Oh no. Finished the day as we started it, down the top of the black. Inside, power wheelie. There we go. Well, that was a seriously fun day. Massive thank you to Ian Warby and the Devo guys for allowing me to partake in their activity something slightly different and by all means go and check Ian out at astonhill.com and they offer a bit of coaching here and there. Thank you very much once again for watching this video. It'd be great if you give it a thumbs up, be sick if you subscribe. Time to clean up now, it's nice to get the old big rig out again. Till next one, see you in a bit. Oh, oh, oh.